Uh, we've seen a decrease uh, in the number of, uh, of uh, people seeking treatment in that facility. Governor Phil Scott outlining a plan to close the Woodside Juvenile Rehabilitation Center in Essex next year. It's the state's only secure facility for youthful offenders. Not only is it a, is it a fiscal sense, but from a therapeutic sense, it seems to be the best way to go in terms of having the results that we want to have. Closing Woodside would save taxpayers nearly $6 million a year. Lately, the facilities housed only a handful of children. As of Tuesday, only two kids were there. We feel uh, that Woodside should be closed. But the idea is controversial. Woodside has about 50 unionized employees. Steve Howard with the State Employees Association remembers when the state psychiatric hospital shut down uh, suddenly year, after that, Irene. It's a monumental mistake. It's a movie we've seen before. It's the remake of the uh, discussion about the mental health system. But state leaders think delinquent kids can be cared for through community-based residential programs or foster placements. Howard isn't buying that. But they're the only facility in the state that is a no-refusal facility. They take every child. That's not true of these other facilities that the administration's uh, basing their policy on. The two sides say they're interested in the best outcome for the kids. The numbers show uh, that it's been decreasing over a number of years. We're going to have kids backed up in emergency rooms, not getting the kind of high quality care that they're getting at Woodside now.